Uh, but yeah, let's get it. Meanwhile, let's get into the beach ball tournament and see who's playing. So we got Coside uh, from chat. Any other names here we recognize? Is that Sharp, the, the 1v1 beast Sharp? I'm going to check see if he's online right now. Is he? No, he's not online right now. Okay, it can't be Sharp. Uh... Right, in, mean, in the meantime, we've got O Grande. So, uh, I, I probably shouldn't say that in case it's uh, <laughs> a word I'm not supposed to say. And Water Melon Man. Let's get into their game because it was the first one that's ready. Am I, am I supposed to say this or no? Will there be a Sunless versus Flump 2? I thought there was supposed to be Sunless versus Gibbs. What happened to that? Gibbs called them out or something. Alright, so we got Water Melon Man over here. Let me just put the volume up a little bit. He's already down by one, but he's got a wide open net bump from O Grande. Am I allowed to say this word? Or is it really rude? Nice equalizer though from Watermelon Man. It means great soloist. Oh, in that case, I, I'm perfectly fine to say Solador. It's fine. Ah, he's watching the stream. Hello, O Grande soloist. So let's see what's going on with uh, Beach Ball. We've got ball bounciness high, ball type. Beach ball, of course. Uh, ball curve it is beach ball curve. It's not like full curve, just beach ball curve. Moves fast to offset the huge size, or well, the medium size, I should say. And we've thrown in the max goal uh, goal scored to be five as well. So that was actually a beautiful finish by our grand soloist over here. Uh, watermelon man, trying to tie things up again, but he's beaten to the ball. Look at that from well, Grandis Solidor. And he doesn't seem to be too bothered by the curve. He's just going to score a third goal. He's starting to run away with this one a little bit. They're both... I just realized they're both fearless. They both have the same title. That's pretty incredible. Um, how can you watch the matches in a tournament? If you create a tournament, and then you don't sign up for it, uh, then the tournament starts. You can actually click on matches in the bracket and click spectate. And uh, that's how you watch it. Oh, look at that. The spin actually being used effectively for the first time ever on stream. If I'm not mistaken, that shot looked like it was going off target, but it spun onto the net. Beautifully done. And that's how you do it. If you want the ball to spin to the right, hit it uh, to the left. If you want it to spin the left, hit it to the right. I believe that might have been... Well, Granite Solidar is trying to sell himself short here. He says it was. It was on target, but I don't know if it was. Like, when you actually hit it. See, there we go. We're going to go way wide. Um, watermelon Man showed us not how to do it. Harvey Hawk, thanks for the seven-month prime. Really appreciate it. Well, he says it wasn't. Well, Granite Solidar, now you're being really confusing. He stopped to say it was, then he said it wasn't. What are we supposed to believe? I don't know where... Uh, which one? Someone had to sit in the recording booth and say blub 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 all over it again. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the uh, Mortarmouth is, I believe, is recorded by one of the guys at Psionics. I've forgotten who it was, but I think they've either like you know, um, combined forces to make this engine sound, or one of the guys just did it himself as a side project and then. Showed it to everybody, but hey, you got Solidar straight into round two. Let's scroll down a little bit and see who else we got in this uh, in this one. We got Bob Stowe. That is a name I recognize. Uh, K-Bob is already advanced, 5-1. Bob Stowe, 5-0. Five, five I'm expecting Bob Stowe to go pretty far here. Um, Roshu's down here, okay, and he's 1-1. One, one. I think we're going to hop into a Roshu's game because he's a name we're very used to seeing in chat. Let's see what he's getting up to here. Said that he was tied up on the bracket, but... That doesn't necessarily always end up being true, but it is. Look at that. Roshu in the blue. Bergathon in the orange. And it's a miss by Bergathon early on. Roshu with an opportunity here. He's gone a bit wide. Still has the ball somewhat under control. Oh, he snapped a shot all of a sudden. It looks like it might have been on target, but Bergathon has done well. Now he's got an opportunity. He's going to send... The ball way too high, though. It's actually spun into the ceiling there. Now here comes Oroshu. Down the line. He needs to hit this ball really quite hard on the right-hand side there if he wants it to spin on target. It's a dangerous position, but oh my goodness! Just like that, Bergathon's defense 
has collapsed. Hiroshi with the pressure plate. Just collects the goal. Effortless shot. Look at that. Just bounces it in. 2-1. 17 seconds to go. Is this going to be the shortest lived live stream performance? For quite some time. Bergathon has the ball. Is he going to get an opportunity to score? Now that is passed. Oh no! Hiroshi! You had it! What happened, mate? You were winning! Where are you going? I don't think the beach ball even mattered. It looked like he was missing any ball there. He just flew straight past it. He got a bit too excited with the one goal lead. Hang on a second, though. He might be getting an open net here. It's going to be a slow shot. Bergathon's there. Hiroshi bravely keeps it up, but not for too long. Into overtime we go. Cheeky kick off there by Hiroshi. Delaying his approach ever so slightly to get a big dunk. He's straight back to goal. Bergathon off the wall. Hiroshi gets involved. Now that ball is not currently bouncing on target, but you've got to be careful. It is a beach ball. So it could just fly off in the middle of nowhere. That's not a bad shot by Bergathon. Hiroshi's controlled it well. He needed to make sure to get straight underneath that ball, not behind it or he would have just knocked into his own net uh, Roshu centering it he's thinking about going for this when the back flip flips the wrong way Bergathon's clearing it now that's a decent shot as well it'll be tough to save it's bouncing into the bar Roshu wants to touch it anyway Bergathon giving Roshu some space here gets beat to the ball and he's jumped past it Roshu with a super open net is he going to put it in Roshu what are you <laughs> what are you waiting for you got to score man the ball was so open. Oh no, why did he go into the middle and wait for it? He needed to be off to the side there. He had to be following it up. Now we're in a panic again. It's overtime. Can Hiroshi get another goal and move on? He's got another opportunity. It's wide open once again. Hiroshi at the back post, saved by Bergathon. Oh my goodness, Bergathon now with the open net. Hiroshi is chasing it down. I don't think it was even gonna go on. It looked like it was gonna bounce off target. They're just doing laps around the pitch here. The beach ball's dribbling past everybody. Nobody wants to move on to round two, it would seem. Oh! Especially Hiroshu, who has backflipped. Oh, no! Hiroshu is absolutely gone wrong in every possible way. Beatles backflip, man. <laughs> throw shoe. Oh, no. No, I throw shoe. Don't do that to it. Don't do it like that. That was a great game. Absolutely fantastic stuff. These guys were super evenly matched. <laughs> Look at that, five saves each, eight shots each. The only difference is the goal. Oh man, Hiroshi with a feels backflip. He meant to side flip. We're gonna definitely save that replay uh, for his next replay analysis on stream. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if Hiroshi, that's mean, don't say that. Uh, that, was a, that was a cracking game. I'm glad we tuned into that one. All right, Dan is losing to eat, or eat your vegetables is losing to Dan rather. Uh, who else we got in here? Uh, Bob so still advancing pretty comfortably. Hiroshi, there you are. Gotta get used to that beach ball. I don't know how, how you missed the open net. Why did you wait so long? You were like in the middle waiting for the ball to come to you. It was so funny. <laughs> I don't believe this. Although, to be fair, it did look like it was going to come across faster. Then it just slowed down. <laughs> oh, no. That was too funny. All right, Ward up and Magic Johnson. Okay, they're also tied up. Let's hop into, hop into this one. Ward up another stream regular. You'll see a lot of whiffs. The curve also changes the speed. I like it. it looks like somebody just took the lead, and it's Magic Johnson. Ward up. He doesn't want to be watched. <laughs> He's not happy about this. <laughs> Let's see how he gets on. Still got half the game to go. Oh, no, he's missed the ball. But it's okay. The ball spun wide. Brilliant kickoff strategy by Ward up. Knowing full well that the ball will spin off target. Now this could be interesting. Bit of a bouncer here. Ward up deciding to play it very late. Magic Johnson down the line here. He's fresh off the PC, or uh, not the, PS, the PC, the PS4, it would seem. He's been dribbled by the ball. It bounces past him. Another shot on target by Ward up. He's thinking about getting going here, but again, another really late commit to a corner play. Might need to back up a little bit more because he's in trouble on the counter. That's 3-1. That's the second time actually Ward Up's just taking himself out of the game. He's got to be a bit more careful. Surely there's going to be a better chance than that further down the line. 
this is a good chance for him. Oh, the curve shot. Oh, Ward up. Spins it around his opponent. Look at that. Beautiful. Into the bottom corner. I didn't even know it was possible to spin it that much with the beach ball. Unbelievable stuff. You know, funnily enough, I think if he hadn't done that, it was probably going to bounce off Magic Johnson on its way to the goal. Ward up taking a bit of a beating there, but no, neither player's hit the ball. Ward up's going to come out on top with the boost in the corner. Oh, he's got a big chance to make something happen here. And what's it going to be? He's going to dribble it into the corner, across the field, and then cut it on target. Oh, just like that, Ward up's back. Unbelievable stuff. Just when you think he's taking it too far, he gets around the other side of it, and he pops it back on net. 3-3. Remember, this is first to five here, so neither player wants to be the one conceding the next goal, even if it is quickly. Ward up with a late jump and a late approach on the kickoff, but that's actually put Magic Johnson in a bit of an awkward spot. He's going to play it patiently. High bounce forward. And the bounce dribble. Backflip into the mid boost. He's making a dash for the ball. Ward up absolutely slams it. Just way off target. Now he's in the hunt for the boost as well. Camp. Magic Johnson spin it on net. That's a brilliant shot, actually. These guys are using the curve a lot better than anyone we've seen in the curveball tour tournaments in the past. They're actually making it useful for them and difficult for their opponents. What about this one? Where is it going? To the corner. Safe enough. 54 seconds left. Straight ball dribble. Magic Johnson trying to hit the ball on the side just so that it'll curve a little bit on net. Not too worried about the power so much as the awkwardness. Is this a double touch to Magic Johnson? He's in it into the post. Ward up's coming back as fast as he can. It's a bit dodgy for Ward up initially. He flew miles out of the game. Now, both players struggling to follow the plans that they're making. Ward up into the middle again with zero boost. Magic Johnson first to the ball. He's got an opportunity on an open net. Can he take it? It's not an easy one. Just going to roll into the back wall for the time being. Ward up. Not able to get there. Neither player able to get there. And it looks like it's going to roll in. Oh, no. Ward up. You just drove past the ball. And there's the touch. Oh, no. <laughs> Ward up. All you needed was any touch there. How have you missed a ball? It's about the size of Jupiter, mate. It's huge. <laughs> this guy gets some ones replayed out. It doesn't look like it would be a bad idea. You got 11 seconds, though. So to find one more goal. Can he do it? He came back already once this game, at least. That's not a bad shot, actually. He's got an opportunity. Magic Johnson keeps it low, though. Well played. Gets it into the ground. Actually, Ward up also with a well played. So, GG's. Magic Johnson moves on. Ward up. Back to the chat with you. Decent uh, games here. It looks like our on-stream regulars are providing most of the entertainment today. <laughs> Some very interesting uh, gameplay. So Dan up to over co-side. Sharp and uh, Conix are all tied up. Let me just quickly scroll down to the bottom of the bracket here because we've not uh, checked out who's down here yet. Oh, Lenny has advanced. Wow. Lenny is into round three, believe it or not. Well, we might have to take a look at that. Oh, we've got Jbot in here as well. So Jbot, another player we're expecting to go pretty far. Uh, perhaps even make it into the final against someone like Lenny. All right, Dan is three up over Coastside. I was going to come and check and see how Coastside's getting on, but it looks like he's just going to bow out of that one. Should we wait for the Lenny match? How, what's the score here? All right, 3-2. I suppose we'll watch this one then. Diamond 1 and 2s with Silver 3 and 1s. Help me. Are you actually worried up? Oh, no. If I had to give you one tip without even looking at your gameplay, um, that would probably rank you up in 1s. It would be stay in goal more. Because people in lower rank in, in ones, especially like silver gold ranks, they're not good enough at dribbling. They're not actually threatening threatening enough with their dribbles to uh, put it past a goalkeeper who's just in the goal facing the ball. You don't even need to shadow at these ranks. You just need to sit in the goal. And then when they shoot, you save it. And then you score in the open net and repeat. That's all you need to do. Um, and uh, yeah, don't dive in ever. Never dive in. Wait for your 50-50s and your saves. Okay, so we're waiting for the Lenny ominous blight match. We need to see if Lenny can come out on top here. He's going to have 200 and something ping by the looks of things. Uh, let's just take a look at what's going on elsewhere in the bracket. J-Bot 4-2. Looks like he'll be progressing to the 
Uh, round of 16. Chewy and Epic Failure going pretty close. Same with Evan Cubes and Just Relax. Pet Kid one down to Fudsy. Uh, Magic Johnson still moving on. He's carrying the Ward Up flag on with him. Lenny, your match is the only one that hasn't started yet. What's going on here? Oh, he's not joining. Cynix, finding player. Oh, for goodness sake. Just when I say I'm going to watch the Lenny match. He's not even starting. He joined. Okay. All right, we'll just wait for this to become available. Your champ one and threes, diamond three and twos, plat one and ones. Oh, are you at the drunk? Yeah, it's a pretty big gap. It shouldn't be... If you're, you know, even skill in the two game modes, you would definitely be higher. Your bronze in in ones, is that normal? Yeah, of course. He's AFK. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, so Ominous Blight seems to have be having some issues. Let's just watch another match. Um, okay, this one is all tied up. Let's see who's going to be moving on to face J-Bot. Have we got any challengers here uh, for J-Bot who's waiting in the uh, round of 16 already. So, one season eight grand champion. Right, Electra is tied up with him right now. That might be on. It's certainly going to be now. No, he's actually missed it. Oh dear. Big chance there for Electra. So he's stuck around with the ball chase. Keeping the pressure on. Another opportunity, but a decent recovery by Eminent. And that is going to push Electra all the way back. Well positioned challenge. Ties up the position. Oh dear, this is not good for Electres. That's very good though for Eminent as he goes up by one. Looks like both of these guys are going to be applying quite a lot of early ball pressure. Neither player leaving the half to go for mid boost. The half of their opponent, that is. When the ball is under control in the back corner. Nice little boost grab by Eminent. Could he spin a shot on target here? Goes for the backboard. That's a whiff by Electres. An open net for Eminent, which he spun. Into the post, and he will salvage. They almost messed that one up. Electra is somehow missing the ball, despite the fact that it is about as big as uh, a beluga whale. I'm going to almost redirect that into his own net, but Electra is going to do it for him. Two goals for him now. A really good shot after the kickoff. Electra is not happy about uh, my presence here, so I'm going to keep talking about him. See if we can trigger him into an open net miss at some point. A minute and eight seconds left. It looks like he has in fact missed the open net, just like we've anticipated. <laughs> He's missed another open net. Electras, pull yourself together, man. You need to put these on target or you're going to be losing this series. So is he going to score third time lucky on the open net? It is defended now, but he's hit it straight into Imminent, who's recovered well. That's brilliant defending by the superior player. Electras has just... He just slammed it into him and it's got it, I think, yeah, 161 kilometers an hour. Oh my goodness. I don't think it was on target. Yeah, it was. It was in the post. <laughs> him and it's actually just anticipated a shot on target there and boomed it in his own net. 161 kilometers an hour. Remember that beach ball does, in fact, move faster than a regular ball. If you can, it's a hard. And look at the ball chase from him and He's just a superior player ball chasing relentlessly Electra is closer to the ball thinking that that will be enough to get his opponent to back down he's wrong his opponent continues driving into it why is Evan so rude to Johnny when he joins ah uh, it's just memes man don't worry about it <laughs> don't worry about it but hey if somebody's mean to me I'll be mean back so it's a two way street People are opening it, or they're, you know, they're opting into the street by being mean to me. Ben got a war. Cheers for swinging by from YouTube, man. Appreciate everybody who does that. Into the final few seconds, Electra is still in offense. Not able to create any realistic opportunities, though. And that's a boost grab that might secure the game for imminent. Four seconds remaining. Is the ball going to stay up? I don't think it is. That's game. Imminent moves on. GG says Electra as he bows out in the round of... 32. You made it to round three. Oh, it's the same round as uh, Electra's here. Let's go and see uh, an updated bracket. So we go Dan versus Sharp up here. Sharp is 2 0 up. That maybe it is. Maybe it is Sharp, the actual Sharp. <gasps> I've got four all. Hold on a second. Hopefully it's overtime. Maybe we can sneak into this one. Okay, we're in. That means that there can't have been a goal. Oh, for goodness sake. Thanks, Rocket League. Love it when I get debated into a lobby <laughs> right as the game ends. Cheers to that. <laughs> Why would it load in? Yeah, Electra's, you got ambush, mate. How did it feel? 
It's a sharp up 2 0 over Dan. Uh, Bob's okay, Bob about to start. Yeah, 2 0. Bob's okay, Bob hasn't start. Dextro looks like he's about to beat Maxim's or Max Maxern's thumb and J Shire just getting started. Florida and Adverse also just getting started. Right, Lenny and are we about to watch an actual Lenny Lenny game? Lenny's made a deep run in the tournament. We we have to see this. We can't miss this one. We have to just wait for this one to be uh live. His last match was against somebody who was AFK. Oh Lenny says this guy's good. Okay, it started, let's go. Is that the real J-Bot? I imagine it is. Alright, let's see what Lenny's getting up to. 1-0 down. And of course, he's got the camera settings zoomed all the way out as usual. High nice shot and Lenny never wanted to disappoint the fans. Takes to the air for the flip reset attempt. Double touch coming in. Lenny beaten to the ball though. And that was interesting. He almost had that one lined up to perfection. He's going to line up the demo perfectly. Lenny. Slow and steady. Methodical in his approach. High pop. And he saves his dodge. Actually slaps his opponent into the corner. Now that's a chance for Lenny. He's going to pre-jump it. Put it low. But Funzi's there. Well done. With the save. Can he put the open net on target? I believe he has. He spins it in in the middle. And Lenny is in for real trouble here. With recoveries like that. I don't know if he's going to have what it takes to win this matchup. Let's see the GC clan. He's also reckless, apparently. Let's see if that gets him in any trouble. So far, so good. Another clean save. And Lenny trying to be extremely sneaky right now, but it isn't paying off. In fact, he's the one who's on the receiving end of a couple of very spinny shots. Three minutes left. Remember, this is first to five. Lenny hits the ball on the wrong side, so it's going to spin wide. Another demo from behind, though. It's wide open for Lenny. And he's skied it. Oh, Lenny. What are you doing, mate? You can't hit the bottom of the ball in curveball. It's just going to climb way over the net. You need to hit that in the middle. Or even the top. Get it to spin down. He's dove in. And he's got a wonderful 50-50. Lenny lines up the open net. He gets saved to the near post, though. Brilliant recovery by Fudzi. I'm actually surprised not to see Lenny making a bump play. Well, there it is. Lenny's decided to go for the bump play when it probably wasn't a good idea. But Fudzi's double-touched the crossbar. What on earth is happening right now? Lenny's still in the game. Just me though, it's going to be three goals to the good. Hudson beans it. And now Lenny's in another cracking op er, opportunity. He's missed the ball. Lenny, you need to build yourself together. This is just not good enough, mate. You're running out of chances. You're running out of time. Definitely not running out of camera distance, though. We've got plenty of that. Two minutes and 11 seconds left. Is he going to get any more opportunities as good as the ones he's already missed? Hudson diving in and he's got a really clean challenge angle he knew that Lenny didn't really have a way to shoot from there and now the time is getting even more and more useless for Lenny that is actually a dangerous shot and the follow up Lenny digs deep and he puts one on target that's a great shot to get this uh, attack started actually the spin really confusing Fudzy it was stuck underneath the ball couple of absolute boomers from Lenny there. Didn't make the same mistake he made earlier, but he hit the ball too low and it went over the bar. He's gone straight through the middle. Fudzi trying to pinch it on target. It is going to be a slow one. Lenny gives it right back to him, though. Fudzi gives it right back to him, but Lenny back lifts. No, Lenny! <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Why would you panic? The ball isn't going into your net until, like, September over here. You don't need to be panicking. There's no rush. Oh no, Lenny, you could have actually done a 17 point turn and still made it in time, but he's just gone straight for it and flipped right past it. A minute and 31 left, it's all ones and threes in the clock, Lenny with another good kickoff. Not out of it just yet, but he's got to be more clinical, he's got to be more careful. Chance for Lenny, down the line, nice high shot, is that going to spin on target? It's almost gone in, but Fudzi with some more good position in the near post. Looking set to eliminate Lenny here. The fan favorite. The absolute bean. A minute and five seconds is all that's left for him to come back with. But that's not a bad shot. Fudzi with another crack of save. He's making life extremely difficult for Lenny. He could be about to make it even harder. Feeling some mercy though, apparently. Now the boost grab from Lenny. Gives him another whole lot of space to work with. But Fudzi with the ball chase. 
Gets it into the middle, and it's an easy goal for Fudzi at the end of the day. Lenny thinking about only one thing. He wants to get the ball into attack. He's waiting for one more bounce so he can bring it down, but Fudzi's just taking it past him. And you can see the frustration from Lenny. He's not having a good time here. Still, though, it's a pretty good connection. You know, Israel to the USE servers with only 160. I would have expected more there, so that's pretty good. Another shot going way too high. Lenny not feeling like he's going to have too many more chances. He jumps off the back wall. It is now or never for the youngster from the Middle East. Can he get anything on target? Well, but he's missed it. In fact, he tried to put it on his own net, but it's bounced off the inside of the post and gone out. And that should be GG. Lenny fought bravely. He actually made it through three rounds of the competition to get here. But at the first hurdle on stream, he stumbles. There's been open net misses. There's been complete whiffs. There's been everything that Craig asked asked for, excuse me. And Lenny giving Fudzi the fifth goal here just to end this one off on zero. Hey, Kalji, thanks to the Prime sub. Uh, brand new Prime. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Let's go for a bracket update here. So Sharp versus Bob still. That could be a good game, actually. I believe Adverse is going to be playing um, Fudzi, the guy who just beat Lenny. Want to see Sharp Bob still, if possible. Because this could be a good game. If this is actually Sharp and actually Bob still. Then they're both very capable ones players. So you're not maining beach ball. <laughs> oh Lenny, it went it went out the window very or very swiftly there. Um very interesting series though, right? Let's get into the quarter final. These two could be some of the favourites uh for this tournament. If the if it is sharp and if it is Bob. So I don't know if it is though, because that's 112 ping. That can't be the actual sharp that we've seen on stream before. Uh, which means I would give the edge to to Bob still, who I believe is a pretty high rated player himself. Wasn't sure if it was actually sharp or not, but it can't be if he's uh, got 112 ping. He would have definitely had a better connection than that to the US East server. So in that case, it's probably going to be a Bob still J Bot final, if I had to guess from here. However, it is Beach Ball, so it might be a bit more tricky to predict. Both players look pretty smooth so far. Sharp. Quick run back to the boost. Picks it up and he's just going to launch it high. Look how much the ball will continue to, cl to climb there. Uh, if you just chip it, it's putting a bit of uh, backspin on the ball so it keeps on rising and rising until it comes into contact with uh, a surface or runs out of momentum. What did I eat for dinner? I had uh, antipasto. I was uh, like a, a board of various Italian meat, uh, cheese, veg kind of thing. Uh, then I also had some like chicken and potatoes and salad or something. I don't know. I was at an Italian restaurant. It was like very healthy. Oh no! Oh dear, oh dear. Sharp just spun one over the net. He did the Lenny special there. Now that is where hitting the ball on the bottom end can actually harm you. Good recovery though by Sharp. In fact, a couple of them spiraling down into the boost. And has he done enough here to get the ball to run away from his opponent? Bob Stowe's going to get back in time. Sharp testing him for a quite wand. a few times. Quite a few different I angles. Love my wife. I love my wife. <laughs> Acknowledgement, my wife is real young. My wife is real small. Let's go what to the beach and message? play with a beach ball. Who I love my wife. <laughs> I love my wife. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. What? Why does ACK read out acknowledgement for Brian? I've never heard that before, but uh, good to know that you love your wife, Brian. That is, of course, exactly what uh, or how things should be. Acknowledgement. Where did this come from? I've never heard this before. Who came up with this? So thank you, Major Rondo, for the 10-month Prime as well. Much appreciated. Sharp looks to be struggling here to get the ball around his opponent. I mean... That is going to be an issue when you're dribbling straight at them, just like a regular ball. You take away a lot of your potential angles if you hit it the wrong way. And once again, Sharp just doesn't have his you know, mind wrapped around the spin properly. He's again spun it the wrong way. And it's gone off target. That's the second time this game that that's happened. And he's not going to get too many more chances. Bobstow's wasting time here. And Bobstow's been the clinical player of the two. Sharp. Cheeky wall shot attempt, but Bobso's going to clear it. He also can't hit the target from distance. 
Is Sharp going to get too many more chances though? Bob's just putting on a lot of ball pressure. He's trying to space himself as awkwardly as possible for Sharp to deal with. It's another open net for uh, Bob. So I think he's been there though. Unless, yes, he will control it well. Didn't realize Sharp's recovery was going to be this, uh, this slow. And he will struggle to get back in time. He says, uh, how do I score in this game mode? Send help. All right, thanks. Hey, it's only over for the explanation there. Um, I had no idea Brian was going to read it like that. Mind game by Bob. So he's going to sky the shot a little bit. Out of all the games so far, this is the one that's probably looked the most like an actual game of beach ball uh, football. Have you guys ever played this? Or beach ball soccer, I guess, if you're uh, American. This this is like a very regular occurrence where your shots just again are sharp. They just spin wide of the net. Everything getting blown away with the wind. Uh, Bob still's played well. He's made things pretty difficult for Sharp. Every time o Sharp has had an open net shoot at, Bob's just been putting pressure on him so he doesn't have much time to just say roll it in. He's having to boom it from distance. Well, it's going to be a fairly comfortable win in the end for Bob. So moving on to semi-final, Sharp uh, only making top eight. Let's just uh, really quickly hop back to the bracket since we know this one is definitely over. Uh, so we don't miss any of the action at the end of this tournament. Um, Adverse and J-Ball already into their semi. So that's the one we want to catch the start of. See if Adverse can... Uh, yeah, Adverse uh, beat Fudzy 5-0 actually. So he might be a challenge for J-Ball. There we go. Okay, Adverse J-Ball. Let's see this semi-final. We'll probably, if this one's over quick enough, catch the uh, tail end of the other semi-final. And then hopefully most of the grand final as well. So three more games. And Adverse actually scoring there as we join in here. Where is he... Oh no, it's J-Bot scoring. I was like wondering how did Adverse score from here, but it's actually J-Bot putting it in. <laughs> it's like, oh, you must have crossbar pitched this. No, never mind, it's J-Bot scoring. So we're one apiece. J-Bot probably the favorite to win this. Um, well, certainly if this was a regular 1v1 tournament, you'd have J-Bot winning based on his recent win against Com, but that's not the best shot from him. Worrying signs, at least early on. And he might not ha have the beach ball figured out. And Adverse certainly does. Oh my goodness. What a shot. Look at this one from Adverse. He spins it right around his opponent. And it's even gone into the bottom right corner. That is a perfectly hit shot. And when you're wanting to make the most out of the beach ball spin effect, that is what you want to be doing. You don't want to be catching the ball too low. You don't want to be catching it too far on the outside so it's just going to keep on spinning wide you want to keep the impact fairly central in terms of the vertical axis and then really get around it so you can spin it onto the net adverse might be the sleeper op for this tournament because it was shooting like that he's really going to be tough to keep back not by one goal J-Bot, on defense again. Nice little 360 spin with a jump halfway through just to recover that bit faster, but it's Adverse who's got the better recovery out of the two. He's keeping his boost in check fairly well. I mean, it's not just beach ball mechanics that are keeping him in this game and also in the lead, but also some solid boost management. That is a shot that spun wide, so he's not able to hit all of them with 100% accuracy just yet. Adverse off the near post to himself. J-Bot with the interception. It was a fairly straight shot that time, so not too hard to read. J-Bot's certainly panicking here, though. He doesn't like being low on boost, it would seem. I mean, who does? But Adverse is keeping him pinned back. All these shots are arcing so high, and they're kind of floating over J-Bot's goal, so he's not able to grab boost. Well, uh, Adverse just goes from side to side, taking both of them. Still only a one goal lead. Can J-Bot do anything about that? Not with a heavy touch. He won't. Adverse straight away with an interception. But now J-Bot's got a big opportunity. Adverse out of boost and that'll be an equalizer. So Adverse jumping when he perhaps should have stayed on the deck. He didn't think the ball was going to spin up off the wall like that. And keep him out the game for too long. Look at that kickoff though from Adverse. That's brilliantly done. And he's going to make it 3-2. And 
That is a really well done kickoff. <laughs> Look at the block. Incredible stuff. This is adverse bot from RL Bot GG. No way. No way. This can't be a bot. Are you serious? Nah, he's just trying to mind game. A bot would mind game. Surely not. I would be really <laughs> I would be really amazed if this is a bot. I mean given how crazy some of the uh things I've seen created in Rock League recently by people like Lethemir. Um, and other, you know, guys from the coding discord, or the modding discord, I should say, it, I wouldn't be, you know, entirely surprised. But no, I don't think this is a bot, because I've seen him do mind games. I don't know if bots do mind games yet. Do they? Are they coded bots to do mind games? I guys go pixel by pixel. I mean, either way, Adverse is still in front by a single goal. Not only that, he's... Getting pretty close to that magic number five that will win him the game. J-Bot has a chance to shoot on the open net. It's a slow one, though. He was very concerned not to hit the ball into the crossbar, but he went a bit too high, it would seem. Now, adverse with a completely open net. Surely he can't miss from here. And he won't. Looked a bit hairy, but put it in at the far post. And J-Bot is really up against it. I thought J-Bot was going to be the favorite here, but... Adverse looks like he's got a bit more experience with the beach ball game mode. Certainly got a bit more expertise with the beach ball game mode. Let's see if J-Bot's 1v1 ability will be enough to come back with. He can't go for the boost again. Adverse keeping the ball above his goal. Above J-Bot's goal, that is. To prevent J-Bot from grabbing boost, J-Bot's out of the game. He'll be back in momentarily, but Adverse with another looping shot on target, and he's won the game 5-2. And J-Bot just wasn't ready for this level of shooting. That's a brilliant curve shot. J-Bot, as you can see, he's come off this goal line. His instinct is telling him, that's not a position I need to be worried about a shot from. But it turns out, it is. You, you can't actually um, come off your goal line there. So really well played by Adverse. And, you know, if Dextral or Bobstow can beat Adverse after Adverse just beat J-Bot in that fashion, I'll be really, really impressed. We are waiting, actually, for um, for that semi-final to start. Bobstow, uh, we saw him earlier on, looking pretty comfortable in stream against Sharp. Didn't see his closest uh, game against K-Bob, in fact. Bobstow against K-Bob. Um, Dextral with two pretty one-sided games, and then three one-goal games. So Dextral's been struggling more uh, to get to this point in the tournament. I know, Adverse. The beach ball main. I don't know if you beamed it, uh, J-Bot, as much as Adverse just destroyed it. Let's see if Bob still can keep this up. 2-0. Great start for him. Dextral. The wrong end of a 50-50. Actually not even getting a touch on the ball whatsoever there. I think Bob still actually just spun that one in somewhat. It looked like he might have been hitting the inside of the post, but it's gone in clean. Adverse to Dark Horse, yeah. When I realized Sharp wasn't actually the Sharp that we've seen on, uh, you know, high level ones and on stream before, I figured that Bob Sue would probably make the final. See, he's someone I've seen, I think I've seen him in top 100 before. That's a really cheeky shot, actually. And a mind game. Bob still 3 0. And this is, you know, a really good. Um, execution here but what happened to Dextro? Oh he's oversteered. Turned way too much. And he says he's a rogue GC. You are indeed. You're a GC from uh, Europe it would see. But that is not working out too well against Bob still. He's going for more single jump kickoffs. He's back in the middle. Not quick enough though for the free shot. Bob still careful as ever for the counter attack. Make sure to block off that avenue as well. Hey, J Medic, uh, stopping by for watching all YouTube videos. Take your best and be happy. I will certainly be happy. Cheers uh, for that, mate. Appreciate you being here. Oh, Bob still. That was so close to a really, really nice follow up. The initial touch there was fantastic, but he's slammed the crossbar with everything he's got. It seems he should be pretty okay regardless. Uh, unless, okay, he slammed the crossbar again. That might have actually been going in, uh, unless it was interfered with from Dextral. Bobstow's shots from inside his own half have been impressive. But the follow-ups have been lackluster. And it doesn't seem that it's going to be 
a deciding factor in this match, at least at the moment. Dextral struggling way too much to be providing enough of a threat, but we've seen what Adverse can do, and if Bobso doesn't step up his accuracy uh, in that matchup, I think I would certainly be pretty worried for him. Dextral off target again. Bobso actually jumping over the boost and landing poorly. That's going to give Dextral some space, but does he? No, I just spin this on target. No, he's just going to go straight at Bobso. He gets a nice save on it, and he puts it down the middle. Well finished this time by Bob still, yeah, he's a rogue decal indeed. Look at him, very, very clever. <laughs> said decal in uh, chat. Figured I was so bad, glad I did. It's quite entertaining. Give it a great work. Icebreaker, good to have you, man. Yeah, it's good to have tournaments back uh, as a spectatable thing. Just for a while, that wasn't uh, happening. Yeah, big chance for Dextral. That may, in fact, already be going into the goal. I think it's slightly off, but it is in now. So two minutes left in the game, Dextral gets his first goal. He's down by three. Bob still might need to be a bit careful because this is such a volatile game mode. And although he has looked like he's had the edge, both in accuracy and also consistency, just one more misplay like the one he just uh, made. Suddenly Dextral is just a 50-50 a or a kickoff away from being one goal back. It's a small... Margin for error here. Bob still hitting the crossbar again. He's tripped up Dextral on the landing though, so he should be all okay. Dextral in a really rough spot. Some good power on the clear, but is that going to buy him enough time to grab a 100 boost? I don't think it is. Okay, it is in fact, because Bob still's taking a high touch off the sidewall. Could have gone straight to the net. A minute and 11 seconds left. Now Dextral is going to get another goal. So Bob still might be in a bit of an awkward position. That's, in fact, himself dribbling the ball into his own net. The curve really messing with him there. Dextral capitalizing with the bump. Johnny, really tired, mate? I, 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 yeah, I'm pretty tired. I mean, I'm not, I've definitely streamed a lot more tired than this. And I'll probably look a bit more tired than usual because I've got a bit of a cold I'm recovering from right now, but probably going to be 100% again tomorrow, or at least I hope I will be. Certainly in a couple days, I think I'm going to be totally fine. Awkward for Dextral, but he keeps it out again now. Bob Stoke, just like we said, if he dives in too many times, might end up throwing this. That is spinning awkwardly. Wide open. Oh, Dextral, why? He just didn't believe in the whiff. He did not believe in the Bob Stoke whiff. It was a brilliantly hit shot to the backboard, arcing perfectly into position. Awkward as you like for Bob Stoke to deal with, but Dextral was too late on the arrival time. Ball beat him to the bounce. And he couldn't get there. Put it on target. Bob says trying everything he can to throw this one, I'll tell you. He has given away so many possessions here at the end of the match. He needs to step up the consistency in the grand final. If that is where he ends up. Looks like that is certainly where he will end up with the clear cup coming in. And the open net, 5-2. That'll be enough to send Bob so into the grand final against Adverse. But so far, I'd say Adverse is probably the one that has impressed me more. He's my pick for the win. Uh, what about you guys in chat? Can we get some A's for Adverse, some B's for Bob Stowe's? Not going to be a, not going to be an easy win for Adverse by any means. Yeah, it looks like more A's here uh, in chat. Was that you that tweeted that uh, that meme? Yeah, I saw the meme. I'm losing on the run. I saw that. It was really funny. I wasn't entirely sure what you what you meant by that. Did you mean that since the man feel like 5K, Flakes, Ixo, and Ocelon have like really uh, grown as players? Is that or were you just dissing OSM? <laughs> or were you throwing shade at me? I don't know. I wasn't sure what exactly the angle was. Uh, the first one. So Ixo, Flakes, and Ocelon. A little of both, not me, just OSM. That's, yeah, if it wasn't me, that would be totally fine. Uh, but yeah, Flakes in particular, yeah, since I'm feeling like 5k, Flakes has come a long way. You know, hit a huge sub record on stream, hitting a lot of, you know, regular, high average concurrent viewer counts. Um, what else? Made RLCS. We well, made RLRS and then RLCS in like six months. Uh, top 8 at a major, top 4 at a major. So he's done pretty well for himself and he beat Fairy Peak in the lower games. So yeah, 
Definitely Flakes has uh, popped off. Okay, there we go. So into the grand final we go. Bob Silver versus Adverse. Likes it the beach ball and mate. It's fun to watch. Well, no problem to you as well. Now let's see if uh, our predictions are going to be correct here. So we've got Adverse and Bob Stowe. A bit of a name tag glitch here, but number one is Bob Stowe. Number five is Adverse. I'll leave the name tags at the bottom of the screen since the name tags above players' heads are currently broken. But we're all tied up, so we missed a couple of goals, but we're going to be seeing the grand final from an even position. Bob Stowe looking to set up shop in defense. Hit on the counter attack. That's the play style actually looked solid in the semi final. It was when he started going goal hunting towards the latter end of the match that he was less comfortable. Adverse, on the other hand, he was playing very well. And like kind of lobbing the ball over his opponent's net and denying boost, just taking awkward shots over and over again. And he probably, for me, had goal of the tournament so far. That spinning shot around J Bot was really impressive. I think it was the second goal he scored in that series. Bob still off the ceiling with a good opportunity. Adverse gets in the way of it. He's had to use a lot of boost to get there though and that'll take any option of a free shot off the cards. Bob still spins one on target. I believe Adverse able to control this. He's kept it nice and low. Both players trying to stay as close to the ball as possible whenever their opponent is lining up a shot. They don't want to back off and give themselves a really awkward read to handle. Bob so spinning it wide the wrong direction. Adverse forced into the air. Didn't have vision of where Bob still was. That's why we saw him go out to the air there. He didn't really think he could do too much with it, but he didn't want to leave it uncontested. This time he's going to use his ball cam on and off to keep an eye on what Bob is doing. But Bob is just chilling back. He's just hanging out. Waiting for a clean chance to move in. And there it is. Bob still looking for the open net. He's hit the post. And that might have been the best chance he's going to get all game. Two minutes left. Adverse. Not able to read the rebound. Bob Stowe also doesn't hit it on target. Adverse actually runs straight into Bob Stowe as he was trying to sneak a counter attack in. Bob Stowe misses his bump. So Ad Adverse stealing both boosts on the left side of the field. Bob Stowe wanted to grab 100 for himself. Is that a good idea against someone who's so good at picking their spots with the beach ball shots as adverse is? That's more like it from Bob Stowe, but still 1-1. Defense looking capable for both players, and that is a very awkward bounce. Adverse reads it well. Also using his camera to keep an eye on Bob Stowe as the approach was coming in. Adverse to the right-hand side. Bob Stowe. Fake challenge, doesn't do too much. And Adverse has actually spun this one high into the backboard. Those reads have probably been fooling people more than anything else. So your instinct is telling you get up early so you can intercept that before it hits the backboard. Before you know it, the ball has uh, just risen all the way up. But oh dear, Adverse just wanders out into no man's land. And Bob still takes the lead. That was not a good idea for Adverse. He just stuck underneath the ball and did a whole lot of nothing. And Bob still finds the open net. It's been Bob still actually with the two best chances since we saw the tie game. One open net miss, one open net secured. Adverse starting to feel a little bit panicky here. He will beat Bob still to the ball. But that boost ain't going to be there. It is spawning behind him. Not in time. And Bob still with a very timely save. Keeps his lead intact. Just over 40 seconds left. Not a lot of time for Adverse. He was able to beat J-Bot, but Bob still. A couple of open net opportunities. has kept him at bay. It's an awkward bounce for Bob still, but he's going to send it back into the corner. Just 25 seconds left for Adverse. He's not getting any chances to score. Credit to Bob still for shutting down every opportunity. That is one more open net miss, though. Could have maybe secured the entire tournament right there. This is it now. Can Adverse get something going? He's trying to dribble with the beach ball. It's spinning high. Is it going to drop on? No, it's not. But Adverse with the rebound. Three seconds left. He equalizes. Bob still thought it was dipping in, but it's stuck high into the crossbar. And we have three seconds left in the grand final. We are all tied up. Is there going to be drama before zero? 
Looks like there might be a little bit, but Bob still grinds it. This game and this tournament will be decided in overtime in the final match. Adverse. Really fortunate there, to be honest. The Bob says missed two awkward open nets. That is the real reason he's still in this. Is it another open MS? Yes, it is. But these are tough open nets to hit, especially with a beach ball. Adverse faking a challenge. High shot from Bob so into the backboard. Adverse feeling pretty safe to grab the boost in the corner. Now here he comes forward. Now he's wide open for the win. And it's already on target. He makes sure an Adverse will come back from behind and win this. Bob Stowe is three seconds away from taking it. But he just couldn't hang on. It's a Bob throw. Which says GG. And Adverse will end up winning. He says, wish it was the best of three. Well, <laughs> most people who lose game one wish it was the best of three. But that was definitely a great game. Very evenly matched. Um, yeah, really entertaining stuff. Good job keeping to the script as well from these two guys. I know it's difficult to keep to a three-second equalizer script. But they've done a great job there. Uh, but yeah, good to have tournaments back. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Like actually, a lot of um, a lot of good games today in this tournament. So yeah, very much enjoyed that one.